Let's take a look at interactive drop spots with drag, drop, and spin. Hotspots have an interactive property, which when set, allows you to define a hotspot as a drag item, a drop spot, or a spinnable item. Let's first create a drag item out of this 3D fan object, although 2D objects like PNG or JPEG files can be dragged and dropped also. Once defined as a drag item, you'll see you get some changes to your action triggers. You can now perform any action when the object is dropped on a hotspot or when the item is initially dragged. A drag item can be picked up and placed in any hotspot that is defined as a drop spot. A drop spot can be defined as either a single or a multiple object drop spot, making it easier to create drop spots that should only ever contain one item. Drop spots can have any 2D or 3D object as a resource, or they can even be transparent, as this one is. Drop spots also have their own unique action triggers associated with them. They can perform actions when an item is dropped on them, or when an item is dragged out of the drop zone. 3D models can also be defined as spin objects. There, that allows them to be freely manipulated by the mouse or the controller. Spin objects have no other actions associated with them as the spin defines its action. So let's see how this all works in our example. In this example, the fan is the drag item, so I can pick it up and move it. If I let it go outside of a drop spot, the default action is just to move back to the origin. Dragging it to the drop spot will simply move the item to the center of the drop zone. Multiple items would stack on top of the drop spot by default. Clicking on the chair and moving the mouse will spin the object in any direction. We also have some new conditions that can be used for both drag items and drop spots. Let's add an action to show a success card if the fan is properly dropped and a miss card if the fan isn't dropped on anything. We'll start by adding an action to the on drop of the drag item. In this case, showing the success card. But we only want to do it if the table drop spot is the drop target, meaning that is where that's dropped. Note that there is also a contains condition as well, so you could check to see if there are multiple items in the drop spot. We'll add another action to show the miss card. But again, we only want to do that if the draggable pump fan has no drop target meaning that it was dropped, but not dropped on any drop zone. And we'll show these only for a few seconds each. So again, let's look at this in action. When we pick up the drag item and drop it, we get the missed card. But if we pick it up and drop it over to our drop zone, we get the good job card. So as you can see, there are infinite possibilities for using the interactive properties within Scenario VR.